Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud and today I'm doing something very different. I'm showcasing a fantastically simple yet amazing add-on that adds aircraft carriers to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's get into this video. Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud and welcome back to a little video. Today I'm showcasing an add-on that adds aircraft carriers, yes aircraft carriers, to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now sadly we didn't get any carriers in the default version unless you counted those odd looking 3D models that came about because of the 3D photogrammetry in America. Now I'm flying just below southern England and there's three places aircraft carriers are added with this add-on. Just east of London, just south of the Isle of Wight and just south of Greenland and they're certainly fun. Taking a closer look, you can see the high detail of the aircraft carriers. Now, I'm using the Aramachi MB339er, and it is capable of taking off and landing. Just make sure you set your fuel to about 20% to take off. That seems to take off fine, as you guys can see at the start of this video. Just be careful you don't strike your tail. Performing a low pass of the aircraft carrier, they have basically no performance hits because, well, why would they? They're three static models. And the nice thing about this is that it does appear as an airport on the map so you can teleport to them or take off from them straight away. Now sadly there's no catapults or arrestor wires so you're just going to have to land normally. But it can be done, I even did it first time, although it was pretty rough, but I was pretty proud of myself. So here's me landing, although there's no voiceover from me at the time, well because I, it needs 100% of my concentration. I'm not that good, but I have to say for a first time landing on an aircraft carrier in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I did do a pretty job, and hey, I stopped without falling off the carrier, so I think that's pretty positive. Now, the runway length is 239 or 269 metres long, so it's really not long. Deploy all your flaps, spoilers, whatever you've got to slow your aircraft down and increase your drag. And it does become a lot easier when you've got low fuel, so maybe burn some of that fuel off before you come into land. Now, the aircraft carrier near Greenland, I believe, has a fuel station on, meaning you can fly for a long distance, uh, come in low and refuel before taking off, although it might be quite hard to take off with anything above 50% fuel. But the other two aircraft carriers do not have fuel stations, so just bear that in mind. Incredibly high detail, why wouldn't you want to try this out? Now there is an aircraft carrier with arrestor wires and catapults coming soon to Microsoft Flight Simulator, so keep an eye out for that one, but in the meantime, this add-on will do a pretty solid job. It's a straight runway, which of course most aircraft carriers don't have, but anyway, this is just a fun little add-on that you can use over Christmas, I'm sure. Just made this little video to showcase it, it's certainly a lot of fun. I'll be turning this into a mini-series where I take a look at game changing and interesting add-ons in depth, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to wrap up this video here, it's probably going to be the one of the last of the year, so have a fantastic Christmas and a happy new year. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done already, but from me today, that is all, bye bye.